morning guys. Another bright and cold day. You can tell winter's here. And apparently we have more than one Christmas tree in Vulcan this year. Interesting, eh? Let's go and have a look at it. I thought we just had the one, but uh, we've put another one on Newport Street, just down the road from the first one. So you can actually see both of them if you stand in the right place. Which is an oddity. Looks quite nice, that's huge. I wonder whether it's real. Oh, no, it's definitely real. It's already dropping uh, pine needles, so, yeah, it's real. It's going to get uh, pretty frozen out here, right? What can you do, eh? You just have to let that go. Terrible drill, Colonel. Let's get a move on. Just out uh, having a bit of a walk around, basically, seeing what's out and what's happening, because I uh, can't be cooped up all day. I've got uh, a lot of comics to draw later on, so that's going to be most of the day, but I did. But let's see, yeah, we're going to do a, a game haul later on when I get back. But I picked up one I've been uh, wanting for a while and found a few PlayStation 2 titles to add to the collection, so very happy. Right, let's go. Okay, I've just come in for that. I've just come in for a quick visit because I want to check up on all the stuff I've been doing with the casework and this is covered and stuff. Can you see me now? My goodness. Covered and stuff. So I've come in for a quick check up. I won't be long because I can do the majority of my stuff from home, which is what I'm planning to do. But I want to make sure that I've got everything's here and if I need to I can uh, access my emails and write documents much easier than I can on the phone. So since I'm downtown, it seems like a logical thing to do. Let's get to it. Finally back from town and oh, oh my goodness. I am exhausted. Even though it's cold, I've uh, walked quite fast on the way back just to push myself and try and get fit, you know, and oh my goodness, I'm feeling it. It's very, very warm now. <laughs> well, not out there, but I certainly am. Four layers on and uh, very, very hot. Right, I've got some more work to do before I can get into the office and do some comics. Got to cut some fine wood for later on, so I'm going to get on with that. See you later. <laughs> I am not built for this hard work, Lark. My goodness, that's right. Done all I needed to with uh, the wood chopping and things like that. So I'm now going to make an awful lot of noise while I get all of the stuff that we picked up today. Well, I say we, I, Jen wasn't with me today because because she's at work. So, sim this out a little bit because uh, there we are. <laughs> I've got a little uh, bunny rabbit on the screen there. Right, went into CEX because I was down in town and I thought, well, I'll have a look because I have a budget every month for games and I decided I'd spend a bit of it. Because there's one game in particular that I really, really wanted, and it's Assassin's Creed Rogue. The only Assassin's Creed game on the 360 that I hadn't played, so very happy to have that. It's all complete. Looks in pretty good condition too, so I'm very, very happy with this, and we'll be playing that if I get through everything I need to do. Similarly, I've never played it, but uh, Metal Jesus Rocks was recommending it on his uh, Xbox uh, 360 guide, so I picked up Dragon Age Origins. Don't know an awful lot about the Dragon Age series, but I know that it's well, well liked, and of course it's Bioware, so it'll be reasonably good. So, yeah. Moving on to uh, another console now, we have uh, Knights into Dreams uh, Journey, sorry, no, Knights Journey of Dreams, the sequel to Knights into Dreams. They have a copy of Knights into Dreams down in town for the Saturn, and I am very tempted, but not this month, because I don't... I've got uh, 20 quid on my budget left now. I have a 100 quid budget every month for games. I don't always spend that, but this month I've uh, bought uh, a DVD player to power all the computers I want to plug in for Mac for reviews. And then I spent uh, a bit of cash today, so I don't want to go too far into my budget, you know. So anyway, got, got everything here. It looks in pretty good condition. I'm looking forward to giving this a try. I've never played the Knights games. I've heard a lot of good things, so yeah. Uh, next one up we have, uh, similarly, on the Wii, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm looking forward to giving this a try. I like the Lego games. They're daft, they're good fun, and I can just uh, put them on the the console and let the kids play them when uh, they visit. And they love... My, my little nephew, uh, the younger nephew, he loves these Lego games, so he'll be quite happy if he visits. So, there we go. Now... The main stuff, the ones I always have to have a look through when I go into uh, the uh, CEX just to see if they've got any more to add to the collection, and they did. So this one, I'm sure I had it, but it turns out I haven't. Pilot Down Behind Enemy Lines. 
and I'll just grab a quick look because I'm pretty sure I was sure we did. But it wasn't on the list and I thought, well, for a pound I'm going to just be give it a try. But we don't have it. Pile it down behind enemy lines. Don't know much about it. It's one of the Oxygen games. So it's a, it's a budget release back from the day. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So happy with that. Another one that uh, I thought we might have, but the list said no. Rumble Racing. Don't know anything about this. It looks like a standard early PlayStation 2 budget racer. Uh, but it's not a budget racer, it's Electronic Arts. My goodness. So, yeah, this should be interesting. But, uh, what, when was this? 2001. So, yeah, the black case is right for that time. And then this one, the moment I saw it, I thought, I do not have that. I have to have it in the collection. Red Ninja End of Honor. Don't know much about it, but it looks interesting. It's some sort of uh, ninja game. I can tell that from the title, but, yeah. Looks like third person, perhaps. The kiss is damaged. The clips are gone on this side, so it doesn't close properly. But aside from that, everything's here. It looks in pretty good condition. So, very happy to add this. I don't know what's going on. She's got some kind of mechanism in her sleeve that fires out a dart with a, with a rope on it. <laughs> She's got a grappling hook in her sleeve and a knife. I don't know. It, oh, hang on. Whoa. There is one clip left. It's okay. There we are. That's all I picked up down in town. But, of course, given the uh, cost of some of these, it did bump up the uh, price a little bit. So I have gone fair way into my budget for this month. And as a result, I'm probably not going to go and do another game haul anytime soon. But I am going to play these and enjoy them an awful lot. Especially... The Assassin's Creed one, and I think I'll enjoy Dragon Age as well, given that I had a look, and it's like medieval fantasy, so it's kind of my kind of thing. Right, I've got to get back to work because I have comics to sketch, and hopefully I'll get uh, some uh, inked out as well. So, time to get going. Today's video is brought to you by my graphic novels, The Collected Life of Naughty Mouse, Volume 1, 
All Over the House, Volume 1, and All Over the House, Volume 2. Thank you.